in his uh, ankle and him. He was just in terrible pain. Dragged her to her room, threatened to kill, and then raped her. I was still a baby then. She jabbed the needle into his bone, and you, that was just terrible. You could see. <laughs> Number eight, Anne Green. Meet Anne Green, the woman who defied demise and made a comeback like no other. In the 1600s, women had it rough, and Anne's story is a testament to that. She was a domestic servant in England, and unfortunately things took a turn for the worse when she was impregnated by her master's grandson. After the baby was stillborn, Anne's life took a tragic turn. She tried to conceal the infant's demise, but eventually she was convicted of infanticide and sentenced to demise by hanging. The ending was brutal, but what happened next is what made Anne's story truly remarkable. Despite being hanged, Anne still had a pulse, which shocked the doctors and hangman alike. They tried everything from medieval remedies to cutting-edge treatments, but nothing seemed to work. That's when they decided to give her a tobacco smoke enema. Yes, you read that right, a tobacco smoke enema. And it worked. Anne miraculously recovered and was declared innocent by the hand of God. She went on to get married, raise a family, and even kept her coffin as a memento of her close brush with demise. Anne Green's story is nothing short of extraordinary. It's a tale of resilience, survival, and defying the odds. And let's not forget, it involves a tobacco smoke enema, which is sure to leave you with more than a few questions. Number 7. Zolika Kadkoda Zolika Kadkoda's story is a harrowing reminder of the harsh realities faced by women in certain parts of the world. In 1997, the 20-year-old Iranian was convicted of adultery and sentenced to demise by stoning, a brutal punishment that was sadly all too common in her ultra-conservative country. But Zolika's story took an unexpected turn. Buried up to her waist in the ground, she braced herself for the worst, only to be spared by outraged villagers who halted the stoning. Though she was believed to be lifeless, Zolika miraculously survived and was rushed to receive medical treatment. <laughs> Against all odds, Zolika recovered and was granted amnesty later that same year. Her story is one of courage and resilience in the face of unimaginable cruelty and it's a reminder of the power of human compassion and the strength of the human spirit. Number 6. Wenceslao Moguel The tale of Wenceslao Moguel is one that defies belief. In 1915, during the height of the Mexican Revolution, he found himself facing an unjust sentence of demise by firing squad. Without a trial, Wenceslao was lined up in front of the squad and shot at point-blank range with a staggering nine bullets, one of which was fired directly at his head. Miraculously, Wenceslao survived the brutal attack, and in a move that shocked the world, he managed to escape his captors. But that's not where his story ends. Despite being left with severe facial scarring from the close-range bullet, Wenceslao went on to become a living legend, even displaying his injuries on Ripley's Believe It or Not. His story is one of survival against all odds, and it's a testament to the incredible strength of the human spirit. From a victim of unjust persecution to a celebrated icon of resilience, Wenceslao's story is one that will inspire generations to come. Number 5. John Babacombe Lee John Babacombe Lee, a man who defied demise not once but three times. Lee was a humble servant in the household of Miss Emma Keyes, a wealthy woman living in England in the 19th century. However, tragedy struck when Miss Keyes was brutally slayed with an axe and her house was set on fire. The finger of suspicion quickly pointed towards Lee and he was arrested and charged with the slaying. Despite protesting his innocence, Lee was sentenced to demise by hanging in 1885. As he stood on the gallows ready to face his ultimate fate, something extraordinary happened. The trapdoor beneath him malfunctioned not once, not twice, but three times. Imagine the confusion and chaos that must have ensued as Lee was taken off the gallows alive and kicking. Some say he even muttered a few words of thanks to a higher power for this miraculous intervention. This incident caused such a stir that it resulted in his demise sentence being commuted to life imprisonment. Lee became known as Babacombe after the town in which he grew up, and his story of surviving a botched ending quickly became the talk of the town. 
People were intrigued and amazed by his luck, and he even became somewhat of a local celebrity. Years later, when Lee was eventually released from prison, he lived out the rest of his life quietly, away from the limelight. However, his incredible story of surviving a hanging remains one of the most remarkable tales of human resilience and luck in history. Number 4. William Duell The story of William Duell is one of the most extraordinary tales of survival in the history of capital punishment. Duell was just 17 years old when he was hanged in London on 24th November 1740 for the heinous crime of raping a woman named Sarah Griffin. As he swung from the gallows, his body hanging lifeless by the neck for a full 20 minutes, it seemed that William Duell's fate was sealed. However, when his body was taken to a surgeon's hall to be dissected for medical training, those present noticed something remarkable, he was still breathing faintly. Without hesitation, they sprang into action, providing immediate medical attention to Duell. Amazingly, within a day, he was back to full health, much to the shock and amazement of all those who witnessed his incredible recovery. As word of Duell's survival spread, the authorities were left with a quandary. Having sentenced him to demise, they were now faced with the fact that he had miraculously come back to life. In the end, they decided to annul his demise sentence and instead exiled him for life. Despite his exile, Duell's story continued to capture the imagination of people across the country. Number 3. Romel Broom the story of Romel Broom is a harrowing reminder of the complexities and challenges of capital punishment. In 1984, Broom was convicted of the kidnapping, physical misconduct, and slaying of 14-year-old Trina Middleton. He took it and he left. Vicki Bonner says she's done a lifetime. Her story involves her own death. This is where her body lay, but not to rest. Most of it in the solitary confines of her memory. Tonight, she stepped out of the shadows to share. I was still a virgin and everything. She told me Romel Brooks, a family friend. Her innocence died in 1975 in this neighborhood when she was 13. Dragged her to her room, threatened to kill, and then raped her. I was still a baby then. And his screams followed a botched attempt at execution. He was sentenced to demise and was scheduled to be executed on September 15, 2009. As the time for his ending approached, Broom was strapped to the gurney and the hangman began the process of administering the lethal injection. However, they soon encountered a major problem. They couldn't find a single vein that was usable for the injection. But after two hours, doctors couldn't find a suitable vein. Then Governor Ted Strickland stopped the execution. Mel Brown was taken for execution back in 2009, just postponing it. That's when the legal battle began. The doctor um, from the prison came in and attempted to establish an IV. It was very awful. At one point, blood spurted out. She jabbed the needle into his bone, and you, that was just terrible. You could see in his uh, ankle and him. He was just in terrible pain. Broom claimed he was stuck nearly 18 times with needles. An execution team tried and failed for two hours. They couldn't find a vein causing him pain that was too intense. I pray for him. Despite their efforts, every vein they tried collapsed on impact, leaving them unable to proceed. So attorneys argue trying to put Broom to death again would amount to cruel and unusual punishment and double jeopardy. Romel Broom says he was poked with needles over 18 times, causing him to scream in pain. For more than two hours, Broom endured the excruciating and agonizing process of having needles pricked into his arms in a desperate attempt to find a viable vein. Despite the best efforts of the ending team, they were unable to carry out the ending and Broom was granted a reprieve. He took advantage of me. Years later, reports from prison claimed tears dropped from Broom's eyes. I wanted that man to be gone. Just gone, period. I wanted them to kill him. Consequences of a 1984 raping and killing of Trina Middleton. She was 14. Today, Broom remains alive, waiting for his case to be heard on appeal. His experience serves as a powerful reminder of the many complexities and challenges that come with capital punishment. Wednesday, Ohio's highest court said it would not be considered cruel and unusual punishment. She believes God knows where he's headed. The state can try again to execute Broom. Hell is something she's already lived through. And raise serious questions about the ethics and morality of the demise penalty. Number 2. John Half-Hanged Smith Smith was a notorious London housebreaker in the 1700s who was famous for his ability to cheat demise and evade ending. In fact, he managed to escape the hangman's noose not once, not twice, but three times. However, it was his fourth brush with demise that cemented his place in history. Convicted of two indictments, Smith was finally sentenced to be hanged on 24th December 1705. As he swung from the gallows,
his body hanging by the neck for more than 15 minutes, it seemed that his time on this earth was at an end. However, when he was taken to a nearby house for post-ending procedures, something remarkable happened. Despite having been hanged for more than 15 minutes, Smith began to recover. Within a short time, he was back to his old self and soon returned to his life of crime. The story of John Half-Hanged Smith is a testament to the incredible resilience of the human spirit and a reminder that sometimes, even in the face of the most extreme circumstances, we can find a way to survive and overcome. Whether he was just incredibly lucky or had some otherworldly strength, John Half-Hanged Smith will always be remembered as a true survivor who defied the odds and lived to tell the tale. Number 1. Joseph Samuel Prepare to be astonished by the unbelievable tale of Joseph Samuel, a man whose life seemed to be protected by some divine force. Joseph was convicted of robbing a woman's house in England, an offense that carried severe consequences. Tragically, during the robbery, a police officer lost his life, although Joseph maintained his innocence in the officer's demise. On the day of his scheduled ending, the hanging mechanism malfunctioned not once, not twice, but three times. The first time, the rope snapped, leaving Samuel to fall to the ground below. The second time, the rope slipped and Samuel's feet touched the floor, preventing him from being hanged. And the third time, the rope snapped again, further delaying his ending. Despite the obvious signs that something was amiss, the authorities persisted in their attempts to carry out the ending. However, after the third botched attempt, they began to see it as a sign of divine intervention and commuted Samuel's demise sentence to life imprisonment. To this day, the story of Joseph Samuel is held up as a remarkable example of how sometimes, even in the face of the most extreme circumstances, the human spirit can endure and survive. It is a powerful reminder that life is precious and that we should always strive to show compassion and mercy, even to those who may have committed heinous crimes. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.